Hi, tonight we're going to talk about changing religious thinking to spiritual thinking. Jesus said, know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Quantum physics says that everything is energy connected in one big energy field where past, present, and future are also connected in this field of consciousness. We seem so caught up in being Christians that we forget that everything is energy and that the unified field of energy is God. We are so busy following the Bible that we have no time for love, which is intimacy with the energy that flows around and through us. We seem to limit God to forms familiar to our mind, definitions and descriptions, so we need to change our religious thinking to spiritual thinking. The rules, laws, and codes of the church are meaningless without the spiritual experience because they are meant to point in the right direction to a state of grace, which is a spiritual experience. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46.10 The purpose of grace is not to keep commandments and withdraw from the Spirit, but to live life openly and not afraid of weaknesses and difficulties. Fading away from the Spirit increases our attraction towards materialistic things as we step back into security, not forward into growth. Stepping back, we make the passion of Christ Jesus' crucifixion into a dull system of rules and decorations instead of bringing the consciousness of Christ into our daily life. We are distracted by the gross material energy instead of being engaged with the subtle energy field of consciousness. We are not only in the energy that extends across the universe, but we are the energy that is connected to the universe and affects and it affects the quantum field. Our vibrations and thoughts determine the repercussions and the results of our situations with matter in the physical world. If we focus and tune our mind to spiritual matters, we raise our frequency to a higher level. Our mind projects and receives vibrations like a two-way radio. Lower thought patterns bring and inflict suffering and pain, while higher frequencies transmit care and compassion. The lower frequencies transmit judgments and criticisms in a negative vibration, while love is transmitted at a higher level. We can bring love into our life and world again by changing our religious thinking to spiritual thinking, which is an inner focus uh, from conviction to practice and experience. God is revealed in the energy flowing through and around us in what is visible and invisible because God is the energy of the universe. If we respect and dip, deeply listen to this energy in the forms of people and matter, we spread love and not pain. Joining churches, reading the Bible, or spreading dogma is secondary to living life, which is the most important divine revelation. Jesus was not a Puritan, but a person with passion and enthusiasm that questioned and confronted the corrupt authority of his time. Now we have Christ Christians that are corrupt, abusive, and cruel in the name of Christ, using religious thinking to oppress and sexually abuse others. They are focused on their greed and their desires as they growl and sneer at the world, not utilizing the soft and high vibrations of the Spirit. The sun shines on the good and the bad equally, and the universe aligns energy with the energy that people put out, positive or negative. There is evidence that the mind affects matter at the quantum level because consciousness is elementary and essential in creation. Therefore, we need to be mindful of what we put in our mind and what we expose it to in the form of desires, emotions, and dogma. We are in control of the evolution of our awareness in consciousness and are not subject to the 
drawn out biological evolution on the physical plane. When we evolve past the mind, we observe our thoughts instead of reacting and maintaining them because we are on the right path. We become aware and content with peace and love and not beside ourselves with agitation. Yes, we are aware of other energies in the world, but we don't allow them to affect our energy and our thoughts. We are in the physical world mentally solving problems, but spiritually we are in a much higher dimension. When we are in a negative mood, it is time to shift our point of view to the spirit and have a breakthrough, not a breakdown. Epigenetics is the science of what influences our genes, demonstrating that we are more than physical, biological machines. It does not change the sequence of our DNA that provides direction by activating biological actions that trigger our life functions. Epi epigenetics affects our genes not by changing the order of the DNA, but by determining gene expression, which genes are dormant or active, which ones are turned on or turned off. If we can reverse the state of the gene from either dormant or active, then we can change negative influences to positive or positive to negative. This epigenetic revolution tells us that we can alter our life for the better or the worse, that we can make the DNA dance, happy or sad. Everything in life is overwhelmed with energy. If we are ner uh, nervous, life is nerve-wracking. And if we are peaceful, life is unruffled and tranquil. Love init initiates the first light, so the spirit can rise like the sun and transform energy into a higher frequency, transforming old paradigms into new and expanded awareness. Our, our soul engulfs all our beliefs, thoughts, and intentions, but it is also a connection to the energy and consciousness of the universe. Our soul links everything in our life with everything in the universe, and that is called synchronicity. As everything happens for a reason, when we let go of old paradigms, we make room for the universe to send us spiritual signals, gestures, and signs that we are on the right or wrong path. These confirmations help us to synchronize so there is no coincidences. So we trust our intuition and our spiritual awareness. These things happen spot on at the perfect moment in present time, so we don't get dragged to the past with disappointments or pushed to the future with anxiety. That is why we want to be present in the moment, because the universe will confirm good or bad with sudden leaps of intuitive understanding what we should or shouldn't do. Another reason not to wait is because the universe reacts to our energy or frequency, and attracts to us what we want, whether it is good or bad. Even if we are confused, the universe is communicating with us. But to trigger it, we need to be in the present moment. In the universe, the past, present, and future are all happening at once in the here and now. In our mind, which is linear, we jump around, focusing on the past, then we jump to the future and sometimes enjoy the present. The solution is to focus and be mindful of the present, because in the present moment, everything is happening at once. The universe wants to flow through us without constraints, and when this happens, we experience a spiritual high that is better than drugs or drinking. People take drugs because they think they are human beings seeking a spiritual experience. The problem is that we are spiritual beings that are dealing with a human experience, so we don't need physical drugs. We just have to remember who we are, and we can do this by searching for God and finding ourselves, 
or by searching for, for ourself and finding God. That, that is a, a Sufi proverb. God is the source of creation, the energy or consciousness of everything, which is not separate above us, condemning us, but is us. God is a divinity, the energy within us. If we think we are separate, then we are at a lower frequency. But if we harmonize and synchronize with the divinity within, we can raise our frequency and flow through life with ease. Happy people merge and become one with the unified field of consciousness, while unhappy people separate and blame the world for their problems. We don't have to change, but if we focus on our pain, we will continue to suffer. The alternative is to wake up to our true self. Jesus said, Know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Thank you.